The families of Butch Wilmore and Sumi Williams are raising awareness of the astronauts' plight while they are still stranded in space. NASA had to postpone the pair's return to Earth by several months because the Boeing Starliner capsule they flew on June 5 for an initial test mission which was initially scheduled to last eight days had thruster failures and helium leaks before docking successfully at the International Space Station. In a recent remote interview, Butch's wife Deanna Wilmore told Knoxville, Tennessee TV station WVLT, You know, we sort of don't expect him until February. February or March, Deanna continued, He just takes it knowing the Lord's in control, and that since the Lord's in control of it, that he's content where he is, sitting between the couple's daughters, Darren, 19, and Logan, 16. You just sort of have to roll with it and expect the unexpected, Butch's wife stated of herself. Michael Williams, Sunni spouse, told the Wall Street Journal last week that he didn't believe she was upset about ending up spending more time at the space station, since that's her happy place. During a media teleconference on August 14, NASA's chief astronaut Joe Acaba stated, if Butch and Sunni do not come home on Starliner, and they are kept aboard the station. They will have about eight months on orbit. He continued, We have done multiple successful, long-duration missions, even up to a year. As Sunni, 58, and Butch, 61, who have already visited the International Space Station, IS, on previous missions, along with Boeing and NASA, continue to assess the spacecraft's damage and carry out testing. The government agency is considering two options for safely returning the two, making repairs or having them board Crew Dragon a ship built by Elon Musk's SpaceX company.